Hey there, today we'll be comparing two Shoei helmets that sometimes may seem a bit hard to differentiate, the Shoei X-Spirit 3 and the Shoei NXR, also known outside of Europe as the RF-1200 helmet. Both of these helmets are full-face sport helmets. If you're thinking of hitting the track and want to do it in a Shoei, you'll run into these two. But one's coming in at a recommended retail price of about 355 euros, or around 400 US dollars, the NXR, while the Shoei Xperia 3 comes in at about 565 euros, or around 630 US dollars. So that's a 210 euro difference, which is pretty big and takes you from the mid-range category to the premium. So we decided to take these two helmets out on the road to test them out. Just a quick aside, if you wanted to check out these helmets, then don't forget to head to our YouTube channel, check out our full reviews, and subscribe. First, just a quick few specs on the NXR to give you an idea, an idea on this helmet. The NXR is technically more of a sport touring helmet, but is more sport oriented than touring. The shell is made of Shoei's Advanced Integrated Matrix, or A material, which the secret is something like fiberglass layered with organic fibers and other materials. The helmet comes in at about 1300 grams in a size M and has four shell sizes. For the ventilation system, you've got a brow vent here, which is adjustable, as well as these two up here. You've also got a chin vent, which slides down and up and all this hot air will come out from underneath the spoiler there. These vents are positioned low for a more sport-oriented riding style. This helmet has a CWR1 visor, which comes with a Pinlock Evo lens in the box, and you can see it's already prepared for it. The liner is Shoei's 3D inner liner, which is removable, washable, and antibacterial, and the cheek pads have quick release on either side. So with these facts over with, let's see how this helmet does on the road. First, just a quick reminder for how we set up our road tests. On the left, we've got a white monitor showing the helmet's temperature from a thermometer placed in the top of the helmet. In the middle is a decibel meter giving us values from a microphone near our rider's ear. On the right is a phone, which is measuring the wind speed. And lastly, we've got our rider speed and the exterior temperature on the dash in the middle. We took the NXR out on a nice sunny day. The external temperature was about 24 degrees Celsius, while the helmet's temperature was about 23, so that's about one degree less. The wind speed was 120 to 130 kilometers per hour. For the NXR, we recorded a noise level of about 103 decibels, which is pretty loud. However, this is more of a sports helmet, so soundproofing is not what this helmet was designed for. Our rider found the helmet had a very good fit and it was very light. He even went so far as to say that it felt like he was wearing a premium level helmet. He also said it felt aerodynamically stable. Now let's take a look at the Shoei Xperia 3. The Xperia 3 is Shoei's premium sports racing helmet. This helmet is made of carbon fiber and fiberglass blend and is coming at you in four shell sizes. This helmet is light, weighing about 1350 grams, though oddly a bit heavier than the NXR, but then again it has a large spoiler in the back. The visor is Shoei's CWR1 visor again, which is pinlock prepared and in the box. For ventilation, you've got two vents in the chin here, one there and one there, as well as two on the brow, one there, and a large scoop at the top of the helmet. All this hot air will come out exhaust vents underneath the spoiler there. The liner on this helmet is removable, washable, antibacterial, and adjustable. The EPS liner as well is dual density to improve the different types of crashes that this helmet will protect you in. With that over with, let's see how this helmet does on the road. We tested out the x 3 in fair weather with the exterior temperature at about 21 degrees Celsius, while the helmet's interior reflected the same, so pretty good. We can expect the ventilation to work even better when used at higher speeds in a racing position on the track. The wind speed was about 115 km per hour, and the helmet came in with about 103 decibels per noise, so the same as the NXR. Our rider was very positive about the x saying it ventilated well and was very comfortable without any pressure. In the end, it lives up to its top quality name, now, let's give out some stars. For material, since both helmets are made of Choice A material and come in four shell sizes, both receive four and a half stars. Since both helmets are also very light at about 1300 grams, both receive five stars for weight. For the visor, both are bringing you excellent options with pinlock prepared visors with the insert in the box, so that's another five stars. For the noise isolation category, the NXR gets two and a half stars since it was pretty loud, and the same goes for the x 3, which gets one star for a noise level of about 103 decibels. This is more for comparison purposes since both helmets are more sport oriented, which means soundproofing is not something these helmets were designed for, and with earplugs, both helmets will perform without any problems. For ventilation, the NXR showed one degree less, so that's three stars, while the x Spirit gets four since it performs slightly better. Lastly, for comfort, the NXR gets another four stars, while the x Spirit 3 gets another five for its quality liner. This brings the NXR to a total of four stars with 19 euros per star, which is a very admirable result since you're getting a quality helmet with great value for money. 
With the Xperia 3, we've got a total of 5 stars, with each star costing you around 25 euros per star, which also isn't bad for a top quality racing helmet. If you'd like to purchase the Shoei NXR or the Shoei Xperia 3, then make sure to head to championhelmets.com where we have a lowest price guarantee and bundle deals including discounted visors. So there we go, it was a close race but the Shoei Xperia 3 pulled out in front with 5 stars thanks to its ventilation and comfort. Nonetheless, both of these helmets are quality lids. The NXR comes in at a slightly lower price and gives you a bit more touring capabilities, not to mention competing with HJC's RF11. In the meantime, the Xperia 3 is bringing you pure racing and will be competing with other top helmets like the AGV Pista GPRR and the Shark Race R Pro. So, slightly different helmets, but each shows top quality. Let us know which you prefer down in the comments below, and if you like the video, please subscribe to stay on top of the newest gear. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets, and I'll see you next time.